What in the world? Hi, View. Thanks for coming. How are you doing? I'm missing one of my lamps. I feel like I need to get my lamp. I love Ikuko and I've been wanting this book for a long time and uh, my husband randomly surprised me with it. I got hooked on Ikuko with this book. It's a real fantasy. Love this book too. I love all her books. There's a few others that I want to get. How's your day been? Been having a good weekend so far? Not sure where you are. Um, it's still Saturday in my world. <laughs> I don't even know. I didn't even pick a picture. Not even sure which one I'm going to do. I like them all, so it's hard to pick. Oh, well, good luck. I hope it's uh, negative. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Was it like a vacation type traveling? Which one? I missed it. Tell me when you're that girl. I almost. Okay, I almost did her. I thought about it. I said it's hard to choose. I like them all. I should have had one pick, but I've been, it's been so, um, oh no, the dog, he's angry that he's not down, well, he can be that way, right there, that one, I'm tempted to just start in the beginning. Well, I don't know. I kind of want to do her. Now I'm trying to see if I even brought my glasses. I did not.
I always feel awkward though when the hair is already like this and I'm like, well, I'm gonna make it black, but gotta work with that. I think they can hear the dogs. Oh, I'm sure they can hear the dogs. Ooh, some Kirby books. Yeah, I've got one picked out with um, my daughter in Fragile World to do as a buddy color. I think I have mine random on the table. I just got my light fast just came in. I got them swatched out, but I haven't, I mean, I don't, I don't know them well enough to, uh, okay. Where is my Tuscan red? I think I'm going to start on her skin. I think all my reds are upstairs too. been nice and hot around here. Thought it was going to rain a little bit, a little earlier, but I don't think so now. We found out we have a, a chipmunk that lives out in the front yard. So I'm wanting to get a little feeder for it. Not sure if I'm going to get a one of them corn cob holder thingies or just a thing for some like nuts or something. I'm not sure. We want to get him a little feeder. Put by the bird bath. I've got some hummingbirds around. Which they're fun to watch.
trying to get my house plants going. I have a bunch of starts that have been given to me from friends. Um, two different kinds of spider plants and a nice big aloe plant. My front, my front living room is getting full of greenery now, which makes me happy. I love house plants, but I haven't had the best luck with house plants. So they just uh, notify you by phone, I'm, I'm assuming, let you know how it turned out. Were you on vacation? Just had some family in town, flew in from out of state. They said it wasn't too bad, though, as far as the plane experience. What is that dog doing? I have one of my dogs over there, that banging. She's over there trying to rearrange her bed and bed furniture stuff. <laughs> I have one, the littlest dog I have, she'll grab the big giant water bowl, carry it across the room, be like, hey, it's empty. <laughs> she the water bowl is so big, she could sit in it, and here she is dragging it around, not right now, but other times. I've been trying to do a picture for everybody's hashtags that's been going on. And I feel like I got a lot of them.
but I hadn't done the Japanese hashtag for um, Amazon Tammy yet. So I was wanting to get that in. I can't believe the month is almost over already. Okay. So when did you start coloring and what got you into coloring? Um, I haven't done sorta. <laughs> I uh not the one from Corey for the Joanna Basford books. Ah! What? Ah! That would be the small dog. Um, ah! Trying to think. And then the, the other one I know is going around for the, specifically the snow globe. Um, I haven't done that. But in Jane F. Hankins' uh, Facebook group, they're doing Christmas in July also. And so I'm doing a Jane F. Hankins. Oh, for heaven's sakes. A Jane F. Hankins picture for the Brewster. Christmas in July. Brewster. Deal with them dogs, please. Brewster, come with me. Come on, Brewster. Breezy Brewster. Which I almost have my... Jane F. Hankins picture done for Christmas in July. Um, I'm using a lot of stickles on it. So I'm down to like one more smaller section to do. Because I had I would do certain sections of it and then not be able to get to the other stuff with that wet. So I would just let, leave it lay and let it dry overnight and then come back and do another section and need to let that dry. And this will be like my fourth round of stickle sections, but it'll be the last one. <laughs> so it's going to have lots and lots of glitter. See, I got one for the Sherry Baldy. I did one for the Julia Sperry. I did almost done with the Christmas in July one. I did the community color along for Appetite for Coloring, Tanya. Um, the lady, the mushroom lady on the throne thing. I'm not sure the title of the page. I don't think it has a title really, but. Hi, Aspie. How are you? Well, thanks for lurking. <laughs> I feel like I've done another one, too. I can't... I think there's one more. And then, of course, we have the big um, color thon next weekend for the Julius Theory. And that's full of great streamers. And I was fortunate enough to be asked to participate myself. So next weekend, I'm not going to be on on Saturday. I will be on Friday at Mm, I think it was 5 p.m. Friday. Pretty sure that's what it was. But I'm looking forward to that. It's my first time being in a colorathon. Um, 
but just in general, I, I always enjoy them. I try not to miss any of them all weekend, which is hard to do, but you know, I try. I wish, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot that goes into that to, to get it all organized and set up. It is hosted by uh, Shell Artie and Ashley Colors. They are co-hosting this colorathon. And like I was saying, I'm sure they've put a lot into getting it all set up and arranged. Um, I wish there was colorathons every month, though. I just enjoy them. And I was almost tempted to say I was going to play with some, maybe a watercolor or something in this book. But then I was like, no, the paper's too thin. And I was not prepared with printing it off on better paper. So I was like, I'll just stick to what, what's going to work better. Pencils. Although... I will get it wet when I paint the background out. I kind of do that quite often. But I like it. Did you make it over to Emily's last night and see the tiny hand painting going on? So Emily, Emily the illustrator and um, coloring with Faithful Girl 1978, which is Belinda. They did that together coloring or painting, my bad, um, painting with tiny hands. And it was funny. <laughs> Definitely go back and watch if you missed that last night. It's hard not to just even look at those tiny hands being used and not laugh. Right, Asprey? That's what I'm saying. Other than painting a background out black with black acrylic paint, I don't do well with paints, watercolors, wet mediums in general, even markers. And partly because I, I really don't mess with them. Um, I'm sure if I put some time and practice into it that I could improve a little bit at least, but I just, I don't mess with them enough to give myself a chance to improve really. So 
put some dark on the hand. But that was, it was so funny looking. What I liked was when um, they would be talking and using their tiny hands to talk with. I found that hilarious. It was fun. Very talented ladies. You didn't pop in on it, view. I know I couldn't have done it. It would not have turned. Well, I mean, I could have done it, but it definitely wouldn't have turned out nice. Which, of course, those actually did. Good plan view. Not sure if they have any good sales going on right now or not. I know they got some gelatos I want to get. <laughs> Got a, a Blick store. Um, I guess it's like two, two and a half hours away, which isn't, it's not horrible, but I have never been. And uh, I just wish it was closer. Kind of. <laughs> that could be a, a bad thing too if it was closer. Or if Michaels would sell pretty much everything they do, that'd be great. I have never been to Ollie's either. I love the gelatos. Now, I love the fact that you can use them dry or wet. And I haven't played with them wet that much. And, um, but I love using them dry. But I like that I can do either or. There's options, potential. I only had a few that was given to me by my friend, my bestie, because she, I don't know, she wasn't a fan. She's into more into junk journaling, and she really wasn't a fan for them for what she was doing. But they were older, and so they were kind of like dry and crumbly and stuff when I got them from her. Um, and then I, I got me some new ones for my birthday, but I haven't really broke them in good yet. Maybe that's what I'll do with this. Maybe I'll do a gelato background instead of painted out. Maybe.
I know we don't we have an Ollie's not too terribly far from us, but I've never been there either. I have some a friend that goes there all the time and she'll hit me up on the phone and be like, they have this and they have that and they have this and they have that. You want it, want it, want it? <laughs> so I've seen around the place a little bit. Always oh, seems like when I'm streaming, every pencil that I want is in need of sharpening. I get my pencils organized. They are all out of whack. Had so many different ones laying around out of their cases. And then there's certain ones like my mushroom colors and a certain hair color and the ones I use for skin tones the most um, kind of have those out all the time but I gotta find a better system than all over the desk for it of course they all every single one I have has has a home in its proper zippy case I know they're usually Asian ladies are usually having a more paler tone, but I already had it in my mind it was going to be nighttime. Think I had any anything fun and exciting going on this weekend? I know we just been kind of chill around here. Right now my my son is with my husband watching the newest Space Jam movie. And meanwhile, my daughter is Watching Star Wars, one of the Star Wars movies, like one of the older Star Wars movies, too. I kind of wish it would rain. Actually, I wish it would storm. <laughs> I love a good thunderstorm. Once it gets dark outside, <clears throat> let it get to thunderstorming and sit in the living room out the big picture window and watch the rain fall.
so if you since you are new newer to coloring um what's your favorite artist so far and have you are your is your collection of coloring books and supplies growing fast <laughs> Of course, when I get to her kimono, it's going to have to be some red going on, which I'm fine with because red is my favorite color. Just trying to decide if I want all the little bits and bobs to you know, the things that are apparently supposed to be like leaves and things to be green or colored at all. Because initially I had thought to make the kimono red and then do all these little bits and bobs um, gold, actually. But I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. One of the things I made for supper tonight was corn on the cob, and it was all eight, but I could still smell that corn on the cob throughout the house. It smells good, but I just think it's funny how it lingers. Usually I do mostly green eyes, sometimes blue. I'm thinking she's going to need some brown eyes. And I don't think I've really tested brown eye colors. <laughs> I don't think I was going to do some heavy makeup or anything on her because to me, she looks like a younger girl.
She is going to have those red lips. I'll let that be the big makeup feature. Still kind of nervous about the hair though. I guess it'll work out. My little Native American gal I did a little while back. I used, was using jet black for her hair too, so I was nervous about it. <laughs> thought my bestie was going to come over and color with me today and she ended up in the hospital dehydrated. I mean, she's okay at least, but it's like, for heaven's sakes. Had that happen to me one time, dehydration, and it was not fun. I do have a couple whips that I need to take care of besides that Christmas in July one. And I thought about doing that snow globe one too for Christmas in July. I just, I didn't know if I could squeeze it in or not. I wanted to. But I'm not sure. I don't like, I don't watch a lot of TV and, but it was Shark Week not long ago, last week, whatever, and so my daughter loves sharks, wants to be a marine biologist, and so, of course, we watched Shark Week, and I watched it with her, and it's always fun, um, but then right after that, a new show started, and she's got me hooked into watching with her every Sunday, um, Shark Academy. She, it's unfortunate she's not old enough to go on that show herself, but she's super excited about the Shark Academy show. So that's our Sunday TV watching now. I can't believe how close it is for school to start again. This will be her first year of high school. Crazy. Go 
multiply so fast. Hi, Marilyn. Thanks for being here. Don't you mean getting stuff done around the house, man? I gotta. <clears throat> Some stuff done too. I started going through earlier today and I stripped the bed and getting all the dog beds and putting the dog beds in the washer and they're all so big that that's a one at a time thing and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven dog beds. I don't even know. There's a bunch. I think tomorrow I'm going to go around and clean some ceiling fans. <laughs> Yay. So fun. I am not a fan. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not a fan of cleaning fans. I need to go for a ride. I haven't been. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I don't know why my throat does this every time I'm live. Don't have this much trouble any other time. But uh, I ride on the bike with my hubby, motorcycle. Haven't been out on it yet this year, which is crazy to think about that. He hasn't even rode much this year.
Do you like or have any of the, uh, the Christine Karen Color and Chicks or um, Mariola Budic? Have you gotten into any of those for you? I know I have those Forest Girl books, too, and I have not touched them yet. Other than to look at them, I haven't done anything with them. I should make a point of trying to do something in them next month. I have it done with a, what I plan to color each month deal, but I might have to start doing that. Just to see if it helps me get to things I want to get to but somehow get forgotten or put off. Another one I want to get into is the Clara Makova books. was the other one I couldn't think of you um, the other hashtag I was talking about a minute ago where I did that community body color of the um, the lady the mushroom queen on her throne but then there's also just the Carl's on crazy hashtag and you could do any picture so I did another one of the another Hannah Carl's on picture for that. I have one dog that always looks concerned when I'm streaming. She's 
she just looks at me like, um, you know, you're talking to yourself, right? Are you okay? And it seemed like there was a lot of them this month or else there was just a lot of them that I was writing down to try to participate in. <laughs> Talking some stuff up again. Out what browns I'm going to use for eyes. I think I'm going to go with the Pablo pencils though. Let's see. Let's Pablo's. Practically every brown in here is gone. <laughs> oh my. That's so bad. Thank you. 
they're mostly just laying around, so that's a good thing. Hopefully, I don't mess these eyes up. Make her look brown. have trouble keeping the, the lighter bits showing. I need to watch some more eye videos. I don't know how I left that one. I don't want this darker umber. This is when I feel like it starts to go wrong. Get some darker color.
başlıyor. One line right there, and that's what will stand out to me. <laughs> Might be silly, but it's that, that's the kind of stuff that stands out to me once I feel like I've messed it up. And then I've, I've done eyes before and I'm like, <clears throat> I do an eye and I really like it. And then I go to do the other eye and it, I, it looks nothing like the one I like. And that gets so aggravating. I've done that with eyes so many times. live with that. Yeah. Black is going to have here. And she did not draw on eyelashes. Um, it's, I want to add them. But I wish a guideline was already there. <laughs>
I'm like, is my pencil sharp enough for this? I think I'm small. Hi, Melissa. Thanks for coming. How are you? My gel pens. They get on my nerves. I was just talking about that a few minutes ago, talking about how I have the Forest Girl books and I haven't touched them yet, but I want to. They're so pretty. I wish they were all hardback. And this black hair, I'm just not sure. Not sure if I could or should um, streak in a gray or out of my Pablo case again. Maybe a charcoal gray in the black. Tone difference between the two. Ooh. Hopefully, I don't mess it up. <laughs> For some reason, I feel so awkward about doing this hair. They are gorgeous books, Melissa. Like I said, I wish they were all three um, hardback, but whatever. 
And I keep wondering if there's going to be more in the Forest Girl series. I kind of feel like there probably will be. Maybe we'll get a fourth one come about Christmas time. See, I'm on top of the black, it don't really show up. See what color I had in my hand. Made that mistake too many times. Thought I had one color in my hand and go to color and look at it like, wait a minute, that's not right. Oh no. Sometimes it's fixable and sometimes it's not. <laughs> There is not much difference between that charcoal gray and black, which is fine. I just Black shows up on that other gray, though.
Okay. When I get the... background painted out so we can get a nice crisp line to the edge of her hair. That's why you should have used a brush. Oh well. I wonder what I added with it. off a section here. Now that I think about it, I could have made her have some purple or blue hair. Ooh, I think I'll have to do something like that in this book. Just completely make one of the pictures not look like the normal way. <laughs> Hopefully our hair will stand out good enough for the back a black background. Should. Birds are upstairs beeping and whistling. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for coming. Working on this Ikuko picture. 
wanted to try to get one done for Amazon Tammy's hashtag she has out this month. How's your day, weekend been going? Anything fun and exciting? Yes, I'm a big fan of Ikuko. Yeah, I've been pretty blah around here, but in a good way, just all calm and chill mode. Ooh, what watercolors? So I was talking about that earlier too. I'm not up to par with water mediums. I only have one little set of uh, watercolors. Did you get you anything good at Michael's view? Oh, okay. Wow, Kelly. Oh, thank you, view. I'll show you real quick. If I don't knock down, my king heart's doing it. My watercolors consist of this thing, which is super cute because the parrot on it, of course. I had to have that because of my parrots. And then I have these. And I love these. I love the Arabic gold in this. Oh my goodness. I want more of these watercolors. But those are the ones I have. But I just haven't spent time playing with them. I like them a lot and I like that you can also buy um, the individual pans so you can replace those as need be. I want to get the uh, ruby color and the amethyst color but I'd like to have like the whole complete set. I have like a ooh. It's either a 40-some piece set or a 70-some piece set. I don't remember now. Oh, I look at so much stuff, you know. <laughs> but um, in my wish list. But yeah. And what got me on that was the Arabic gold. You should. <laughs> Well, I mean, if, especially if you are already a fan of watercolors, then I would say definitely try them out. But if I used in no other color but the Arabic gold, I could be happy too. Yeah, my wish list is getting crazy.
But that's how I got this book because it was on my wish list and hubby just randomly selected. He ordered it when he ordered my, my Smith family genealogy book. <coughs> I saw a video of Arteza, and I don't know if it was the watercolors or if it was a regular acrylic paint. Um, I feel like it might have been the acrylic paint, but it was like all metallic colors, or I guess a metallic set, and they were so pretty. I thought, ooh. Then, of course, I want to get those Paul Rubin um, glitter, the glitter set. I was like, okay, I like that. Everything needs to sparkle. Yeah, when, like I said, when I was watching that video of them getting uh, swatched out and tested and stuff, I was like, yes, those are beautiful. So I don't have any watercolor pencils. The, the watercolor pencils I have are on my, that I have on my wish list um, for Blick are the Karen Diosh Museum Aquarelles. If I'm saying that correctly. But I don't have any. I have the small 24 set of um, Intense pencils, <laughs> but I wanted to test drive them and see if I liked them and then decide which I got them. I played with them. I like them. I'm like, well, fooey. So, yes, I want the big set now. What's your channel name, View? I tell you, view it is so hard <laughs> to not. I'm, I've been so worried that I was going to say some things, some words <laughs> that people didn't like. Uh, cussing, obviously, not other words.
glad she's got short hair and there ain't a lot of it. <laughs> Man, this was like long flowing locks. Oh. It's, I don't know. I guess maybe it's just me, but it seems so much more... Um, I don't want to say laborist, but just, ugh, doing all this black hair. I'm not a hair fan anyway, so I'm just glad there's not a lot of it. It was, uh, let's see, three pencils. My Pablo's. I used the Pablo Hazel and brown. And then another one I used in the skin also, the umber. So I used those three Pablo's. I think I enjoy hair the most or at, at all um, when I do unnatural hair colors. So I've done a, I've done some blues and some greens. I've done a purple hair and there was this really dark blue hair that I did. And that's like probably one of my favorites. Um, there's another one that it's kind of close to, could be not too unnaturally, but it's a, like a burgundy wine type of tone. Um, but when I'm doing black or brown or a blonde, it, I don't know. I don't like it as much. <laughs> I think the next girl I do out of here is going to have a wild color. I've got one from the Clown Around the Color book. I want to do some red hair in that. I really love that book too. That one's by, um, what's the gal's name? Jacqueline, Jacqueline Trowell. I think that's a cute book too. Different, at least. I think I have that book. Yeah, I do. I had to peek down there at the bookshelf and look. <laughs> I have that one. See, I have that one. That one's not road on the edge. And then I have World Within Worlds and Fragile World. I can't wait for his next new one. I 
from what I heard about the new Kirby book he's going to put out. It quite possibly could be my favorite of his. If it's everything rumored to be. I like all his books, but right now The Fragile World is my favorite. And that's just because of the cause it is supporting. I mean, well, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a great book and I love the pictures in it too. But it's the cause that... Um, I like the most just because I like that. Oh, is it October 5th? Okay. See, I hadn't heard a date. I have high hopes for it. With his fragile world, I, I got my own, I got my daughter one, I got my niece, well, both my nieces one. I feel like I got somebody else one too. And I just did that since part of the proceeds are going to the cause. And I'm probably going to be buying another one because my son wants one to be part of the just because for the cause of. I still need, I need to, I didn't pre-order the, um, the newest Hannah Carlson book. But I need that one. I need the, the one that's going to be released in the U.S. next month. Forest Kingdom or something to that effect. And I still need the other book, um, Seasons. And then I will have them all. But of course, I know that there's another one coming out. Like in September or something. <laughs> I like her books, but I've been, I got two of them done this month. Uh -oh. Child is entering. What do you want? Oh, you like the movie? Okay. You good? Yes. <laughs> nope. They just got done watching a movie with Daddy. They watched Space Jam 2. And he came to tell me that he really liked the movie. I'll have to get it when it comes out on DVD. They have the first one. It's been quite a while ago since I, I don't remember when, but 
That first Space Jam came out a long time ago. I enjoy it. But one one reason for sure is that my son loves the Looney Tunes. So he couldn't believe they had this movie. He loves his Looney Tunes and Tom and Jerry. And not long ago, they put a, a Tom and Jerry movie out. We went to an old 1920s style movie theater with the kids and our friends and their kids to watch the Tom and Jerry. It was cute. He does a lot of old school cartoons. He likes watching DuckTales. When I was a kid, I'd just barely make it home in time for DuckTales to come on in the afternoon. <laughs> And yes, I just do dod the ducktail theme song in my head. Thankfully, I kept it in my head. Do you have any um, Clara Makova view? Melissa, why don't you like it? What is the Clara Makova? This is one. She has five books out. Um, and so this fairy touch of magic. We got pages that look like that. So there's Fairy Touch of Magic, Fairy Celebrations, and they're all hardback books. Fairy Miracles, which I love this blue. Tenderful Enchantments, love that blue. And Magical Delights. I can't remember... Oh, yeah, and that's not something else she does in her books is some of them have these cutouts in the back. And so <clears throat> you have certain pages in here that you put a slit in and you color this door and you put the door in there. And then you have like an open and closed door on your coloring book page. 
which I mean, it's optional. You don't have to do it, but it's fun. So like, that's a cute one. I'm trying to see if I had any completed. That's the one. Oh, this, so this one, my kids laughed so hard when they seen this picture. And I got the, I thought that was so funny. They just, they were like, why are their beds showing? <laughs> and, oh man, they were cracking up. They were just giggling and they, they had me cracking up because I was laughing at them so much over some booties. So <laughs> I was like, oh my. I know I have colored one. Oh, okay. So, like, here's my nameplate page. There's. Did a bat page. But, yeah. So, that's Claire McCola. I like her books a lot. And in case you didn't know, so iCuco has this book, The Surreal Fantasy, that I showed earlier. Um, an elegant faces book and a mermaid book and this is also Aikuko if you have seen or are familiar with this book it's called I Daydream and it's it says by <laughs> uh, I don't know Takeuchi Art I'm not sure, but it is still Aikuko. Um, she moved from wherever she was to somewhere out in California and changed her name. And this was the first book she put out under a new name. And this is also a hardback. I have plenty of an enabler, so I got to pass it on somehow for you. <laughs> but yeah, so that's in my Aikuko collection. I have a video view um, if you're interested there's a video I started YouTube like at the end of October maybe the beginning of um, November ish but in one of my earlier videos I did a well first I, did, I have a coloring my coloring book collection video but <laughs> it's it needs updated now because I've probably gotten 30 to 40 new books since I did that video. But I also did a my favorite top my top 10 artist uh, video and it's it's not very long and I just you know mentioned my at that time top 10 favorite artist and there was a couple honorable mentions in it. But um, it's the list Pretty much is going to be the same. I might have a couple to add new. So I don't know. But yeah, if you want to go back and check that out and get some more ideas for your wish list. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm trying to do every Saturday at 7.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time. I don't know where in the world you are. Where are you? I'm in Ohio. <laughs> but I do 7.30 on Tuesdays, sometimes too. I was trying to do it pretty much all the time, but... Occasionally, I just can't. So it just depends. Life can get you caught up sometimes. Right now, there's a lot going on. I was, is this, did you come to vacation in Ohio? <laughs> oh my. Cleveland is a ways from me. I'm more by... Um, the biggest city, most known biggest city in my area would be Cincinnati. So that's what I'm, I'm over there in that little area. But in a small town. come from where pigs fly and cornhole and three ways are family friendly. <laughs> that was one of my, my mammy, my grandma, who I always called mammy. That was one of her favorite shows. Now that I brought that up, I'm going to have to make some three ways. Well, I prefer a four way. They are yummy. Well, hello, Clint, hubby of mine. <laughs> are you stalking me? You don't have any um, Skyline or Gold Star 
in your area, Melissa? It is spaghetti with just spaghetti noodles with their specific chili on top with tons of shredded, I believe a shredded American cheese on top. And if you add onion, then it's a four way. Or if you add beans instead of onions, it's a four way. And a five way is you've got onions and beans, but a three way is just the noodles, chili and cheese. <clears throat> I like onions on it though. And you need to use oyster crackers. It's so good. But you can make, you make your own pot of chili. Um, you can totally put that chili over top of spaghetti noodles and have your own version of. I like my homemade chili style. It's a way we use up. That's great. Love it. But uh, to have a true three-way or four-way or whatever way, it's got to be their chili. And it's different than chili that you'd make a big pot of chili at home you make. I don't know how to explain it. And then you use it for chili dogs and all that stuff too. Yes, it is good. Can definitely tell it's getting blacker versus this little and that's still with a um two tones of gray on it That girl. Okay. I should have done her. 
I was going to start on the very first one, but I was just to fill in her. Don't even have that much done. I color so slow compared, which is fine. I'm I'm okay with it. I just think. And when I'm on the camera, I feel like I'm going faster than my normal. So I'm thinking, geez, I must color really slow. Because <laughs> if I'm just coloring on my own, I'm, I'm not paying attention to the clock or how much I've really accomplished. I'm just doing my thing, you know. Of course, if I wasn't trying to go strand by strand, sure, that would help my progress. Oh, and I'd already, I've already talked about houseplants a little bit, but I'm going to loop back over there for a second because I was so proud of myself. For the first time ever, I snipped a piece off a house plant and stuck it in a thingy of water in my little kitchen herb window thingy and it took root and today I just put it out and put it in its first little pot with its own dirt and I was so proud of myself because I have struggled my whole adult life trying to have house plants and I kill everything they don't like me I have sang I have talked to, read to, begged and pleaded with every plant I've ever owned to not die and grow. And I just didn't have a green thumb. And some of the stuff on the outside that comes back every year, I was doing okay with that. <laughs> but the house plant, eh. And since we've been here at the new house... I have been trying to have house plants again and so far so good. And so I've never had one take root for me and all that. So I'm excited. I'm quite excited about it. I actually want to order a plant stand to go in my big front window. And my hubby's like, you're ordering something that's not coloring and art. I'm like, yep, that's right. Look out, baby. Something different. So, yeah. It excited me. So, I thought I'd share. <laughs> My friend, you go in her house and just in her one living room, she's got my, and I know this because my son counted um, 17 house plants in one room. And it's, it's a decent sized room, but it's not like it's ginormous. And, uh, oh, I just love it. Just plants everywhere. My aloe actually came from her. That's where I got the aloe plant start from. I told my husband, I'm on a roll now. I'm going to have plants in every room. <laughs> he just looked at me and laughed. He said, more victims, huh? Nope. Off the boat with that one. That's it down. Oh, congratulations, Melissa. That's so exciting.
we we had our other place, which we still have it, but we were there for over 20 years. Over 20 years, we didn't move. We had been, it was a lot smaller, <laughs> way smaller. But we were just, you know, trying to penny pinch and avoid as much debt as possible. And then we finally made the move to the house shop. And we got this place. We, um, like I said, we just got to move in in October. One of the first things we did was me and the kids came in when we the day we got the keys and and laid in the family room in front of the big fireplace and made carpet angels. <laughs> Just laid there, soaking it all in. But it's so fun. It's exciting. I still look at houses. <laughs> My kids are like, "Why are you looking at houses? <laughs> We're home." I just think it's fun. Now, is this your, do you think this is your forever house? I know you said it's your first home, so I know that sometimes it is and sometimes it ain't. away from that hair. Hmm. I want to do her lips. Her lips are all naked and bare. Yeah. That's how I've been, Marilyn. That's yeah. I've turned a new leaf. <laughs> I wouldn't call myself green thumb. That's for sure. But. I'm on like a four. Eh, yeah. Four. Maybe pushing five month stretch. Where I haven't killed what's in my house yet. And I started with the aloe. So. <laughs> they're like you can't kill this. My husband's like she's killed them before. <laughs> The kids want me to get a cactus, so I will probably try a cactus, but we'll see. Hmm. So all my normal reds are somewhere else. Critters I want. I have to come back for some more. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with that, Mar or Melissa. I seen you thinking, Marilyn. This is for my forever home, but it's not my forever location. <laughs> Um, we actually, I have family land, but my grandparents' house burned down that was on it. And <clears throat> it's 
it's just not quite as pointy as I need it to be. So we want to build up there on that land. And we were actually going to. We had everything um, contracted and blueprinted up. And the ground surveyors went up there. And they did not like the septic system. They didn't like the location, especially with the area that we wanted to build the new house at. So they gave us the recommendations for three options of where we could move it to. A little brush. And uh, we were going to go with that. And so that kind of put a delay in things. And, and then everything happened. And this was like at the beginning of last year. So then everything happened and that put another delay in things. And uh, we just wasn't waiting no more. But what I want to do now is pretty much build an exact copy of this place on our land. Because I love this house. The whole layout and flow is just perfect for us. Got the perfect place for my parrots. And that's bad when we were house shopping. Um, one of our requirements as we looked at houses was where are we putting the birds? <laughs> I mean, like uh, a fireplace was in our wish list, but not a requirement. So if we scored a place with a fireplace, which we did, that was just a bonus. Um, but making sure it had a gr good place for the birds to be, where they were still with us, not way off in the back room by themselves or something type situation. It's like, no, that wouldn't work. So it had to be the right situation for them. And the layout of this place is just perfect for that. They're right in the middle of all the good action, which they love. Absolutely, Marilyn. Trying to work on this top lip. I'm going to change the way I'm sitting to view it because the glare. I've got to get my lights situated. I don't know what I need, honestly. I was thinking, you know, get one of those like daylight bulbs or something, but I don't know. Tuscan, maybe. I had thought about being a real estate agent at one time just so I could go in houses and see them and look at them myself. Not awful. I just like checking them out.
<clears throat> oh gosh, I kept those out. Grab that again. Because I may as well do her little fingernails. That is the good stuff, Melissa. I tell you what, for me, I mean, we had we had a, a yard and everything at our other place, but my kids were sharing a room and when they were little it wasn't that big of a deal but as they got older things got more cramped and it it became a big deal <laughs> and so when we got this place they each got their own room and being able just to watch that and see them enjoy that been the best thing ever. So when you get to watch your kids, Melissa, out back play in on their swing sets or trampolines or whatever kind of stuff you have, just smile. My son wants to try his hand at uh, vegetable gardening next year. Okay, we, I said, we, we've had too much going on to try this year, so we didn't get to. But next year, I think I'm going to get like one of those, um, or have my husband build, I should say, some type of one of those, the raised garden beds. Keep it a little smaller because I, I don't, you know, I, I struggle again with keeping plants alive. So I don't know if my children are going to be green thumbed or not. So just start off with something smaller and let him go. See what he, see what he does. Watch him be the biggest green thumb person in the house. He'd rather grow fruit though. He's a fruit man. Does he make cakes, cookies, cupcakes, ice cream? He doesn't get a regular birthday cake. He gets apple pie. I told him he has to try to grow me some uh, jalapeno peppers. He's got plans, though. He wants to grow it all. So torn what color this whole stuff I really want to go red with the base and then golds over top 
dissolve a little bit. And I'm like, well, maybe I should just do colors on everything. I don't know. I don't know what I'll end up doing. But I am going to call it quits for now, for tonight. I got face and eyes and hair. Woohoo! <laughs> I appreciate everybody coming and hanging out. Um, I'm not sure if I will stream Tuesday. Like I said, I, I try to stream 7.30 on Tuesdays also. That one's a little more in the air. Um, but Saturdays is usually my thing. <coughs> However, again, a reminder, this coming weekend, I'm not going to be streaming on Saturday. <clears throat> it will be Friday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Goodness. Um, because of the color thon for Julia Speary, which is co-hosted again by Shell Artie and Ashley Colors. They are doing that color a thon event this coming weekend. There's a great lineup of streamers. There's um, several people have, if you go to Shell Artie, especially or Ashley Colors, you can see the full schedule of the streamers to come up this coming weekend. And I'm one of them. I was fortunate enough to be asked to participate. And I'm very grateful for that. So I will be streaming next Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time instead of my normal. So hope to see you all around and there throughout the weekend. Ah, if you, I knew there's, I know there's supposed to be, if you're talking about in this book, I know there's supposed to be two copies of each picture and it's supposed to be a black backing and then the white backing. Um, my understanding is that's for marker folks for bleed through, but there are some artists that do put out doubles in each of their books, which I don't mind. Of course, my daughter don't mind it either because then she thinks she automatically gets copy. So, but yeah, so anyway, um, so I'll possibly be on Tuesday and I will definitely be on Friday for this Colorathon weekend. I hope you all come and check it out. Check out all the streamers, it's a great lineup. I enjoy watching everybody in the list, and I'm honored to be. A part of that list this time so that's really cool so again thank you everybody everybody you have have a wonderful rest of your night rest of your weekend chill color relax and I will see you guys around later y'all <laughs>